Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Matt Latter and today we're going to continue our campaign as the Council of Cathar. So I already asked at the end of the episode last time, but let's make sure everyone who is regularly watching this hears this as well. I am currently considering a name change for our uh, nation, since uh, Council may no longer be exactly fitting since we are now a massive empire of greatest strength. So I've been thinking about renaming us to maybe the Empire of Cuthur or the Kithri Empire, something along those lines. If you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And also, if you think we should just stick to our guns and remain the Council, I'm open to that as well. I mean, we've grown as the Council of Cuthur from a single planet. Right now we have 78 worlds and 215 of our own people alone. And our empire consists, so let me quickly check, because that's probably going to be crazy, of 1,274 people. Holy shit, that's a lot. So yeah, uh, consider the situation, um, think about what you would like, and please drop me a comment, I'd greatly appreciate your input. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and get ourselves ready for a war against the hegemony of Kemju. So, we start off with taking our primary fleet and moving it to Porima. Actually, I moved the whole fleet to Toropia. More nationalist sabotage, would have guessed. And we take these two fleets to Wakemore. They will be responsible for Research taking out this uh, whole small arm here. Uh, more lifetime for our leaders, that's great. Yeah, more border range. And the main fleet will get split in Teropia, and one of the uh, two fleets will go to Bajol, and then we're gonna start the war against the hegemony. So, fleet wise, uh, transport fleet, so there we go. Uh, we have. 18 Space Marines and 4 Assault Armies. We're still building some more on Hamkat. Let's actually requeue a bunch. And up on that planet here as well. The ones on World Pangit I'll not care much about. So. You guys actually go to Wigmore as well. <clears throat> so yeah, this is our primary System objective. Complete. So the fleet has arrived in Teropia. We're gonna split it exactly in half. Then we'll assign... Who do we give him? Wow, that guy is massively good. Move you to Bajol. Do all our primary combat fleets uh, have something then? Teropia, yes. Guys in Vigmore do not. Let's get you together and assign you a leader. We'll take that guy. And then I'll actually... Uh, where's the leaders here? Okay, what do we want to do? We need the uh, sector governors. Oh, we actually still have a general. That is fantastic. I thought we had to recruit a new one, perhaps. So, let's go ahead and set up our war demands. We start, as last time said, with Inagor and Unimar. So we can finally plug those holes. And then we take Galamun. Yala Moon, there we are. And Jurope. And then we focus entirely on our efforts up here. So that's two planets. Then Dultori is also two planets. Then Fulas is a single one. 
Haribus is also a single one. And Marinius is two more. We're nearing the limit of what we can demand. Do they have a planet there or not? Or cry no. So, let's go with Faragon. Then we would essentially have this whole area new. That's great. In the meantime, okay, this is just an outpost of theirs. Because I could go down here. Oh, look, there's Aldebaran. Uh, yeah, I think that should suffice for now. Though we could gain more, so why not? I was looking at landing. Ah, one too many. Okay, let's take out the Landian things again. And I think we'll just deal with that then, how it is. Uh, anyone interested in attacking? Didn't guess as much. Okay, confirm. War is declared once more. We march to war. So, do you know where they have their fleets by any chance? You guys can directly move station out here. Under attack. There's directly a station under attack? Are you kidding me or what? Ah, the Tasman guys. Let's actually uh, give them a bit of integration and suppress the media a little bit. Actually, go to Inagor first, you know. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, where was that for a moment? Would have liked to see it. Uh, how's the space station building going on in here? Uh, just starting. Let's hope he uh, can finish that one in time. So the second one is out here. Wonderful. Where are they going? Are they perchance going... Ah, up here, okay. So, yeah, let's go to Shurob. But Joel wasn't a great Hostile idea, actually. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. There we go. Bam, Situation and taken care updated. of. So, uh... Amkart has some more forces. Great. Let's give him the clone commandos. And then embark him. And we try to send them to these planets out here. Let's see. Yeah, might be a bit challenging for them, but they could actually, with the fleet support, uh, take care of it, I think. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hey, there's another fleet just to die. Just Hostile how I like fleet it. Engaged. Ooh, up here we have a proper fleet, actually. Well, well, look at that. So we'll move in. Our transport fleets retreat to Kith Velas. Situation log updated. Okay. Yeah, check up. 15k, 15k. Yeah, I think we need to bolt from here, at least for now. We move to Pleturi. We Hostile should be able to engaged. escape Situation them for now. Updated. We'll drag them around with station us, essentially. Under attack. Situation log updated. There's a station under attack where... Nowhere. That's where. Ah, they got engaged. Situation log updated. Now they're moving. And they should be out. Yeah, good. Okay, good, good. Uh, transport fleet. Yeah, okay, they are underway there. Another transport fleet. There. You can move there as well just to be on the safe side, you know. Uh, they have no fleets down here. They've gathered, I would guess, nearly everything they have up here somewhere. Yeah, okay, one of their fleets decided to move down here. 
Uh, how strong are those guys? 18k. We have another couple k's inbound. So let's instead see if we can't engage one of the stacks down here. Okay. They've moved. Where did they move? Ah, that cat and mouse. Fleet engaged. Oh, sweet. Situation they are making updated. a home delivery. How sweet of them. Uh, can I quickly switch them around? Because I'd like to get that guy in. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet Okay, let's engaged. actually see what they have on offer. So far it doesn't look like much. They're Situation getting torn apart. Updated. Hostile even fleet before engaged. they can properly engage me. Oh wow, Hostile they're literally sending engaged. everything in Situation here. Log updated. Have they even dealt damage so far? Barely any. Oh, they also have Tachyon Lancers. Ooh, now it's getting a bit dangerous. Uh, so, Transport Fleet can wait in Kedar. Yeah, that's only smallish fleets. So you guys can go back to bombing the planet. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Okay, so far Situation we're dismantling updated. them pretty handily. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. One entire fleet Situation down. Log updated. <sighs> I hate it when that happens. And I just said I'd no longer leave them Situation unattended. Log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log Retreat. updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, and immediately go to Kajam. It's at least somewhat in our backyard. Okay, you guys are engaged as you should be. And out here, yeah. System survey complete. Enemy fleets Hostile utterly destroyed. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Okay, can I get Situation a better report for that? Updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, once the Situation log updated. thing is done. Man, that announcer can be annoying. Situation log updated. Whoa! Admiral level up, Admiral level up, Admiral level up. Was it all the same guy? Yep, it was all the same guy. That guy just got some massive XP. Basically from being a subpar general with great traits, he immediately went to uh, basically Sun Tzu in motherfucking space. Okay, so... Give me the losses, please. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Okay, we've lost 2 of 24 battleships, 10 of 15 cruisers, and 2 of 2 destroyers. The enemy lost 23 destroyers, 7 corvettes, 5 cruisers, 2 battleships, and 7 more cruisers, 5 more battleships, 13 more corvettes, 4 more destroyers, another cruiser, another battleship, 6 more battleships, 13 more cruisers, uh, corvettes. Yeah, a lot of stuff. They lost a shit ton of battleships. So, let me guess. Yep, their fleet power is now pathetic. Okay, here we have the hegemony of Kamjun fleet. The 13th murder. Another 20k stack, roughly speaking, on the move. So, you guys actually move in here. We want all the uh, reinforcements Hostile we can get. Engaged. Situation log updated. More stuff going on. Station under attack. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. 
war is so confusing. So many random stuff happening. Okay, so... Split this fleet in half. And get those guys kicked out. Hostile fleet I take engaged. it that our two guys, yeah, got killed along the way. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Another situation log update, yeah, that's... Up here, they are sending in uh, weenies Hostile left and right. Fleet engaged. Hostile there we fleet go. Engaged. Situation they were done updated. quickly. Meanwhile, in Hamcat, one more of these guys is done. One is definitely too little to engage with. So, transport fleet to Inagor, please. Are they gathering there? Well, it's another 10k or so. Okay, they've retreated with most of their fleets so far. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Construction okay. complete. Uh, good, you're ready. Then move back to Inagor. And you guys actually go ahead and bomb that planet, please. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Can I just please bomb that updated. planet? Hostile fleet <sighs> engaged. Just the AI things. Updated. Let's guess Hostile one or two. Yeah. Engaged. Situation log. One updated. or two guys, and we get spam to Kingdom Come because Hostile of that. Fleet engaged. Situation log updated. I'm sorry for that, guys. Hostile fleet engaged. That Situation log really updated. is one of the things they need to fucking fix. Damn, is that annoying. Okay, two guys are bombing in Inagor. Uh, there are the two others. Form up. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, so... Inagor. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Man, that is annoying. You guys can land there. The Hostile enemy is weakened engaged. enough as is. Situation log updated. And it's just two small complete. units there. Enemy planet secured. Hostile Park. fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Wow, are you shitting me? <sighs> Who thought that was a good idea? Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Can Hostile we get some peace and quiet engaged. now? Situation log updated. I mean, look at that. That's like, I don't know, a shit ton, a literal fucking shit ton of incoming Hostile enemies. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. And they're sending them in peace. I mean, what's, what's it they're sending? Corvette. 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 They're literally sending in single Corvettes. I mean, come on, guys. Paradox, I know you can do better. Please do better. Enemy planet secured. Such AI fails are just annoying, you know? I have much respect for you guys, but that is just stupid. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Okay, we'll leave two fully grown battleships. Actually, let's make it three here. The remains of this fleet. Then go repair. <coughs> You guys down here get to embark and you, my friends, move to Unimar. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. And now the fleets are engaged. Hostile <coughs> fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Can you deactivate that somewhere? Like, literally. Uh, let's kill the advisor volume for now. No need for you guys to suffer through there constantly. Okay, here we are.
Take out the space station, then everything is good. Also, the repairs coming along pretty nicely, actually. Holy balls. I mean, just to be clear, mad respects to the AI programmers. They did a mostly pretty okay job at least, and I know from uh, some sources that AI coding is a really fucking hard. They've done a good job. The game is playable, the AI isn't exactly bad, uh, it has its weaknesses, but things like that are really game killers. Uh, oh, the guild fleet has been repaired. Nice. So now we can go to Jurobe. Uh, where's our... Have they arrived already? Not quite. Oh, up here. Yeah, they have arrived. Derp. Moments of derp. Okay, they first need to kill the observation post. Can you now please bomb the planet? Okay, so that means I probably also can't really bomb the planet, because those fucking enemies keep coming in single file. You know what, move you guys down there, see if we can't perhaps kill them at the source. <clears throat> kill the, uh, what's it called, wormhole stations. <clears throat> Well, seems we could. Yeah, that's where they're sending in all the small corvettes here. Oh no, that's an uh, entirely different place. My bad. Uh, Inigor is still ours. Unimar. We are bombing. Ah, man, I'm happy you can at least uh, disable the advisor voice. Would have been the most annoying war ever if not. Also, I'll drink something real quick. <clears throat> there we are again. Uh, medium bombardment, please. You just wait, I'll miss one massive combat announcement and get killed because of it. I think it worked, actually. Get these gene warriors set up. I may actually just land with the uh, two space marine divisions here. Or armies, not divisions. Okay, the planet is damaged enough for the guys here. Land the armies. There we go. And they're dead. Sweet. Okay. We'll leave here. Two battleships and a cruiser. The remaining force can move out here. The transport fleet can move to Toropia. Let's actually break through and take a Cam June. Oh, we have actually uh, basically won already, it seems. Yeah, that were a lot of small fights there. Yeah, 75 due to space battles, 15 by occupation, 7 by blockade. I think they're pretty close to saying yes. So let's check. Ah, just minimally against it due to the length of war. That will change soon. Okay. I think we'll be able to easily finish this war off. <coughs> We have the kinetic artillery researched. 
Okay, next up we go with the ship hull hit points. Outward to see. Go in and smack him about. There we go, finally. We admit defeat, but do not think this is anything more than a temporary setback for the hegemony of Kamjun. That's what you say. I say you lost and you will lose again. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, and they actually had one more planet in there. Fuck them. They settled that one. I'm pretty sure of it. Ah, oh well. So, southern expansion first. They gain one more planet, Nagor. Makes it look nice and awesome. Then we have the Xoplos sector. You gain that. And essentially everything down here. There we go, not quite in our reach. And this is the Tixar sector, up here. That one's gonna grow massively. Could even rival the um, southern expansion now. Uh, it actually is bigger than the southern expansion. Oh boy. Sweet, another war won. We are making progress here. And yeah, I guess by now everyone's uh, shitting their pants. Uh, how's the Otaga League actually? Yeah, even they are feeling a massive amount of threat. Are you feeling threatened perhaps? You don't. Oh. That would be a moral victory for us. <laughs> well, they certainly are threatened and really, really don't like us. They even more so. Well, that's what you gain for tankling with a council, man. You're gonna get wrecked. Uh, Southern Expansion actually needs that more plan one more planet as well. Because border gore, everything needs to look good. Okay. So, let's close that up. And then we take all our fleets, as far as they are still here, and gather them at Holden. Good. Then we do the same with basically our military here. You guys go to the keep as well. Actually, everyone meet up here. Everyone who's not somewhere else important. And we dismiss this guy so it doesn't pop up here because it's worthless. Build a couple more defense armies though. So, uh, yeah, basically nothing's building anymore. Let's get that remedied immediately. Uh, Sepertikon, I want more of those. Then we have the science note. Okay. I was just confused there for a moment what I had uh, started building. Wow, that's an amazing looking planet. <laughs> that's one I want early game. All the power plant upgrades. Uh, for a significant chunk, it's uh, one of the last upgrades, I believe. Tertius. With you guys, happiness minus 10. Oh! They have turned pacifists, some of them. Huh. Well, I don't like, but you know, who gives a crap? Couple people being unhappy in the Empire is normal. That guy is actually quite the opposite. He is really fucking happy. Uh, Bashpat Secundus. There's still some more upgrades. 
And yeah, I think our ring walls out here are looking pretty freaking great. I say as I run into one planet that needs a massive amount of upgrades. Ah, all the senseless clicking. Seriously guys, UI Design 101. Much as I sometimes rag on the game, guys, please understand, I still love it to bits. Uh, so you build destroy us. Do that then. So yeah, as much as I rag on the game, I still love it. Uh, to criticize a game as harshly as uh, I sometimes judge this game, you need to love it first, I think. And I really do. It's a great fun game. Ah, they finally returned. Then you please meet up on Holden as well. So, what's our next goal? I do think we have a truce with basically everyone out here. Uh, yep, truce. You are some vassal. With you we have a truce definitely. The test net. How much longer does our truce hold, actually? Oh, it's already over, actually. Really? Ooh. Kolaut Kur Padarn. It didn't doesn't zoom there. Uh... I'm not seeing here. No, apparently I'm blind. It wasn't one of my governors then, it seems. War nationalist sabotage. Who would have expected that turn of events, right? So, battleship assembly yard. So, you guys built me a couple separate car. The ring world also has battleship assembly. And the palatial district is basically unrestricted. So we start with Loroth Lex as soon as we have the money for it, which is now. And energy weapon damage research is done. Hmm. Let's actually get some shield hit points in there at some point. <coughs> okay, so everyone is at Holden. Outside of the freshly constructed guys, obviously. Everyone, form up! Yeah, they're drawn together. That looks weird as fuck. I really wish there was a way to turn off all the auras. Such a beautiful game, and then they do that to it. Especially with such a strong color. Couldn't have been a dotted line? Or maybe a toggle? Ah, well. There we go, 132k! With every war we're actually getting stronger and stronger. Kind of hilarious, really. Uh, one more separate car for you. You still have plenty of destroyers, palatial district... Build me more cruisers. Lorath Lex Claws, please. Trade District. Uh, more battleships. Man, now we're getting into high gear with shipbuilding. Okay, all the transport fleets are here as well. Let's get you mashed together. So we have 21 Assault Armies and 18 Gene Warrior Armies. That's plenty. More than plenty. We'll easily tear anything to shreds on the ground. So yeah, uh, how's Hamcut looking? A bunch more Gene Warriors already done. Let's get them set up and embark them. 
in order to build some more. So you guys actually... Okay, decision time. Where do we want to attack the Tesnet? I think we want to uh, cut straight into their core territory. So go to Nikonda. And the main guild fleet shall go out here. All the other things can meet up in the Beacon of Infinity. Over the Palatial District, please. So while we're at it, uh, order some more cruisers for you. There we go. The Trade District can also build one more battleship. I'm trying to manage it so that they uh, slowly build up a massive amount of uh, build orders. And more Superity Con. Okay. Yeah. All the preparations are in place. Uh, all movement orders have been given. With that said, I'm probably gonna end this episode here, so I do thank you all for watching and hope you've had some fun. Currently, we are without a doubt the number one uh, force in the universe and making our will heard across the galaxy. My intention, if I can make it easily, until something else appears, if it does appear at all, we'll move forward and essentially destroy all our enemies. Bit by bit, we will tear them apart. We will make the Council of Cathar the greatest empire there is, because there will be no other empire. So yeah, with that said, if you like the content, comment, like, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter at underscore letter. And then, thanks again for watching, see you the next time.